When I was a kid, if you got hurt, your parent or coach would just say, rub some dirt on it and send you to go play. But playing through an injury isn't good for your body or your team. So how can you tell if the pain you're feeling should keep you out of the game? And how do you know when you're ready to come back? Your body will tell you, you just have to learn how to listen to it. You see it all the time in pro sports. A player leaves the game, then moments later they're back out there playing. The fans are cheering and announcers are praising them for gutting it out. I've certainly experienced that myself. But is that the right thing to do? There are three factors that play into the decision to clear a player back to the ice. And these are the same factors we use for any athlete, pro or amateur. Number one, as an orthopedic physician, it's our responsibility to make sure your joints and your body work as intended for the rest of your life. If you can't protect yourself on the ice, you're compensating for the pain and you shouldn't play. Number two, we also want to help you have a long career playing the sports you love. Playing through an injury could jeopardize that. And number three, we want you to recover and return to play as safely and quickly as your injury allows. If playing through pain or an injury violates any of those three factors, you need to rest and recover properly no matter how long it takes. Athletes are competitors, and we hate missing games or feeling like we're letting our team down. So how do you convince athletes to sit out and take the time to properly recover? If the pain is affecting their performance or movement, Blues players understand the importance of talking to the team physician and taking time away to recover and heal. Pain is your body telling you to take a moment to slow down or stop. If you don't listen to what your body is saying, you run the risk of turning soreness into injury or a minor injury into a major one. The difference between soreness and injury is soreness is usually from strain or stress to the body, and it's often a precursor to development of injury. If your body has a visible deformity, or you can't bear weight, or a bone was broken, or a ligament was torn, those are injuries. Recovery time varies based on the injury, but is there a difference between how fast a young athlete can come back versus a pro? Recovering from an injury is hard work. Certainly the body works to heal itself, but in general, recovery time has more to do with the work you put in. Blues players are dedicated, and they have the resources readily available to do the training and exercises necessary to recover quickly. This means their return to play is actually less variable because of the consistent treatment and work they put into it. So the next time your body is trying to tell you something, take it from someone who knows. Listen to what it's saying. You need to properly recover before getting back into the game. It's what the pros do, so maybe you should too. This is the science of St. Louis Blues Hockey.